The Sarah episode was one of the ones I was most excited about, which is odd because it's a, it's a really tricky episode. When people were checking in on me during that episode, like, oh, how's it going? I was like, I'm having the best time. Yeah. <laughs> you know, like we're doing like kind of an all female episode. Getting to be surrounded by right. all of these amazing comedians. That was such a great dynamic. This was one where I remember as we were shaping the season and figuring right. out which, you know, which episodes we were really gonna write. And it was actually my wife who who was like, You gotta, you gotta do a Sarah one. Being able to dive deep into a female friendship like this, especially having gotten to watch Darby and Sarah over the seven preceding episodes. It's just so nice to see the culmination of that. What the fuck? Mom, I'm sorry. I'm just, if I'm messing it all up, maybe I shouldn't be here for Parents Weekend. Or you could just act like a normal human being and then everyone would be delighted by your presence. Zoe was so brilliant in this episode and I um, kind of kept turning to each other, even in these really contentious scenes and going, it is such a joy to work with you. I'm having so much fun right now. You know, Sarah, she's in a lot of pain that she's not showing to people and that makes it all the more frustrating because you just see the kind of bratty, petulant sides of her and the selfish sides of her. So Darby's like trying desperately to keep this bachelorette party together. It really isn't until things get really messy and start falling apart that they even have this kind of come to Jesus conversation. I'm just really fucking lost, okay? Everything good in my life has just turned to shit. And nobody can hang ever because they're too busy. I mean, it's just all fucking bullshit. My life is bullshit. And you don't even need me anymore. You're my best friend. Of course I fucking need you. When you think about their relationship from the pilot, like yeah. that this is the person yeah. that Darby leans on. This is the person yeah. she turns to for exactly. advice. And to have that relationship shift so radically yeah. to see how much Darby's grown and how much she's working on herself, it's heartbreaking, but to see those moments of emotional maturity in this relationship yeah. is like especially because poignant. That, we would never have seen that Darby in the first half of the mm. season. Right. And that's what's so nice is to see this move. Is you know this has been several years, so right. she has been you know maturing as she goes along. Right. I think it's so sad and so hard to watch, but Darby can't not do what she has to do at this point in her yeah. life with yeah. Sarah. She's like it's the accumulation of like every you know quote lesson she's learned, yeah. and like she kind of has to say no. I think it would be good for you to get some professional help. And don't be mad. Please don't be mad. Maybe even rehab. My gosh. Sarah, I'm legitimately worried you're going to die.